Correspondent Ntakwana Ngatane via Skype from Maseru in the Sutu. Ntakwana, thank you so much for joining us. The Prime Minister was not present. He did not sign as the leader. So we know that the Democratic Congress is divided on this issue. Who or what, apart from the deputy leader, Munyame Muleleke, is giving this faction uh, a side of a part of the party legitimacy? Well, you know, what we know is that Munyane Muleleki as a deputy leader, maybe we should take a step back and say that as far as the leader, Bakadi Tamasisidi and Prime Minister, is concerned, Muleleki and his faction are suspended from the party one. He has called a special conference in which he wants this faction to be disciplined, being the NEC, that has made these decisions beginning all the way from October uh, and also earlier this month. Uh, saying that they want to withdraw the party from the governing coalition. But in that faction, we know that it is the deputy leader, Munyane Muleleki. We know that the secretary general, Rale Chate Mokosi, is in that faction. We know that the chairperson of the party's uh, conferences, uh, Madiehe, is in that faction. We know that the deputy secretary general is in that faction. These are members of the NEC. And when they tell us, they say that there are about 10 of them. And this is out of 16. We know that the leader, the treasurer, the spokesperson of the party, uh, and the chairperson of the Women's League are not part of this faction that we are talking about. So we also know that uh, they do not agree with what this faction is doing. So essentially, they are saying that they are the majority of the NEC. They are saying that they hold office. They are saying that they can produce documents such as letters to members that have stamps on them because the secretary general holds the stamp of the party. So this is where they're saying that they derive their legitimacy from at this point in time. But as you rightfully pointed out, the prime minister was not present. He has not been present in all of these announcements that are being made. He is not part of the agreement that has been signed. So as it is at the moment, the DC is split over this particular issue. And so at this point, we wait to find out how the leader reacts to it, as he has done with the other moves that this faction has taken in the past. Lulu? Now, let's speak about the deal breaker for the Democratic Congress. What was the deal breaker? As far as Munyane Muleleki is concerned and the people that are behind him, they're saying one of the issues, as you had him mention in that package there, is the contract that was awarded to Bidvest for fleet management which they say that essentially it means Lesotho has to spend almost double what it is spending on the fleet management of the government. Uh, secondly, they're saying that the contract was awarded to a company that did not even tender when there are companies that tendered and were not awarded that contract. But the Minister of Finance, who's also the treasurer of the party, has disputed those allegations, saying that in fact what they did was they changed their approach to issue in the contract instead of issuing a contract to buy cars what they did was uh, instead of issuing a contract to lease cars they issued a contract to buy cars and they wanted someone with a software management and that happened to be bidvest to come in and manage it for the government but of course this matter is still out uh, the jury still out on that matter what we know is that the minister of finance has now been moved in a reshuffle to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs has now been moved to finance. But uh, the issue is one of the biggest. The other issue that they're saying is nepotism. They're also talking about corruption. They're saying that, that there's a lot of corruption in this government and it is unable to service deliver to people. As a result, they feel that it is not meeting the mandate that they wanted as members of the Democratic Congress. This is why we eventually saw them making the announcement earlier this month to say that they have decided that the party must pull out of the seven party coalition government. But of course, as I say, the prime minister says the decision uh, was made without consulting him. He was not present when it was made, which is why he has called a special conference where he wants those members uh, that include the deputy leader to be disciplined. Lulu? Now, just uh, looking at uh, a lot of the drama that has been continuing, um, the deal 
not really sure whether it's done, not really sure whether the coalition of uh, unity government will continue. What's the situation with uh, Tom Tabane, who is currently in South Africa, if I'm not mistaken? Well, we have seen pictures where Tom Tabani signed this particular agreement with the leader of the Basutu National Party, Tisile Masiribani, as well as the deputy leader of the Democratic Congress, Munyane Mulelegi, who this faction says is now the acting leader. Because as far as this faction of the NEC is concerned, the leader, Pagarita Musisidi, is suspended. They are saying they suspended him because he did not follow the decisions that were made for all members to, first of all, withdraw from the coalition government and resign as ministers, which Muleleki and Mokosi did, and two other ministers as well as a deputy minister. So what they're saying is that because the prime minister did not follow those instructions as a member of the party, they have now suspended him. But what I'm saying is that we have now seen Muleleki acting as, a, as an active leader, saying, of course, now uh, that whatever happens in terms of the obligations that the party will go into, including this particular coalition agreement, uh, if it passes and this becomes the A government, he will then be the leader of the Democratic Congress. But again, Lulu, the jury is out on this issue because the party is divided. And the drama that you're talking about is that when the prime minister called a special conference where he wanted uh, structures of the party to discipline this faction of the NEC. The NEC in turn said it had suspended him, but he maintains the NEC does not have the power according to the party's constitution to suspend him. So as far as he's concerned, he remains the leader of the DC. And we had a spokesperson of the party today saying that these people are in fact the ones who are suspended by uh, the leader. So it is, at this point in time, a really, really big minefield. Lulu? Now, the agreement is signed, but it doesn't really say anything. What are the next steps? The next steps, according to uh, the signatories to this particular coalition agreement, is that it has been handed over to the Speaker of the National Assembly. That is the procedure according to, to the Constitution, because the Speaker is the one who will then know how many people actually constitute this particular coalition. Because in Lesotho, for you to be named as a prime minister or a government, you have to be commanding a majority in parliament, and only the Speaker can determine that. Now, the Speaker has to then advise the State Council that here is a formation, a new formation, that has a majority in parliament. And so, in turn, the State Council will then advise His Majesty the King to appoint such a coalition or such a grouping of people as a new government. So these are the next steps that we are now waiting for, whether the Speaker will indeed uh, say that she has received that letter as they say that they have now handed it over to her, whether in fact she will act on it to advise the State Council that there is a new formation, whether in fact the State Council will then consider this as legitimately a grouping that has a majority to form an alternative government in the Sotululu. Takwane, thank you so much for joining us. We have to leave it there for now. That was our correspondent in Lesotho, Takwane Ngatane, speaking to us via Skype from Maseru.